Hello everybody, we got some interesting news finally after almost two weeks of silence. There was a weird series of earthquakes a few kilometers northeast of Farazafjall. This break the eruption is taking now is its longest since the eruption started and everyone is waiting to see what it does next. The La Palma eruption has been going crazy as you probably know as it's much larger and more destructive than here in Iceland, making it perfect for the news headlines. Here we have a few videos of the situation. This volcano produces shockwaves, as you can see, and so did the Heima eruption back in 1973. And that was in the backyard of people's homes, literally. So what do we know about the recent events here in Iceland? Well, the sudden series of earthquakes in the last 24 hours is something we haven't seen for a while. If we take a look at Fardasfjall on an earthquake map, we see that there is no action, but just a few kilometers northeast of Fardasfjall is a very concentrated area of earthquakes. None of them are of any real magnitude, but three did reach 2.5, which is stronger than the usual under one magnitude earthquakes in the recent months. What we are observing now is most likely magma finding a new area to breach the surface, and that area is around Kalir. It looks like it doesn't like the area around Faradarsfjall anymore. We can get a better idea of what is happening by taking a look underground. This is an old image of what scientists thought the magma dike looked like before the eruption back in early March. Some of you might remember, but there were two areas being predicted to host the eruption. The area around Kalir or the area around Faradarsfjall, with the latter one always being the more likely candidate and eventually did host the eruption. But now this might be taking a twist. By looking at the earthquakes that struck yesterday, we know that the magma had begun finding a way up under Kalir. It might eventually find its way up and erupt, or the magma could cool down, who knows, we'll have to wait for now. Will it erupt around Kalir soon? Well, since the earthquake activity doesn't seem to be shutting down, the possibility still stands and cannot be ruled out. But what about Faradarsfjall? Faradarsfjall could just be clogged up due to its low magma flow, like so many times before, and it's just a matter of time that it will be able to erupt again. But since we are all speculative here, I also want to shed a light on the possibility of more large earthquakes striking soon since the magma has begun making disturbances underground again. When the magma did that back in February and March, it caused pressure releases in the Reykjanes Peninsula that led to large earthquakes. Who knows, we might after all get a 6 plus magnitude earthquake. But hey, this is all speculations, and if you don't want to miss out on future videos, subscribing could help you, and if you want to share this video with others, liking it is a great way to do it. Anyways, hope to see most of you in the next video, thanks for watching.